Hello everybody, I'm back. It's been a long time last time we spoke, it's been like a week uh, and uh, I have some news for you and some updates. So this is the ninth video and uh, uh, yesterday, uh, it was uh, August 12th, uh, I had uh, my first blood checkup and I've got the results and I thought I, I would share them with you in order to give you an idea what you are going to experience after one week of bone marrow transplant so uh, more than one week like two weeks but without the uh, the, inje the the injections that uh, enhance the production of the white blood cells so uh, I found out uh, on the paper that the laboratory that gave the, gave it to me that my hemoglobin is low and my red blood cells count is low, not not very low, like right below the borderline, and my white blood cells are also below the borderline, not very much, but you know it's it's kind of low. So I'm a little bit worried that the my professor uh, might order some blood some blood transfusion and it will delay my trip back home and I'm really sick of being here. You know I'm staying home most of the time because I'm tired and I, I can't walk for a long period of time and I have these back aches. It's uh, some kind of something personal. So, and to just the tiredness, it makes everything make, look so depressing and so frustrating. For the nausea, I'm taking pills and I'm taking uh, drug, uh, no, not drug, paracetamol for, for the pain. And I'm taking an antiviral and antifungal daily as the doctor has pre prescribed uh, I'm, and I'm going to keep taking them for at least three months uh, and my appointment with the doctor in four days uh, I'm going to make a video on the same day that I'm uh, going to meet the doctor so expect a new video uh, and I'm going to tell you what she is going to tell me uh, in details of course uh, to give you a better view and that's all for now uh, hope you all are doing great and good luck ciao